We've all heard plenty about the federal stimulus money, where it's going, what it's paying for, how it's supposedly helping the economy. But in case you forget, there will soon be signs up on the roadways reminding you. That's right. The state will shell out nearly a million dollars to construct signs to put up near stimulus-funded projects. Just to tell us, that's what it is. Forty-five construction sites in New York will get giant signs, which will cost somewhere between $4,000 and $5,500 each. Now then, hundreds of smaller signs will be ordered for smaller projects. That'll cost about $1,000 each. Is this really a wise use of our taxpayer dollars? Well, consumer investigator Jennifer Lukey asked the governor today that very question, and she has more now from the Bartell Road Bridge in Brewerton, where one of the signs will go. The feds send the money to the states. The states decide how to spend it. Most of it goes towards desperately needed road and bridge projects. But do they desperately need to spend $900,000 just to let us know that? Well, I'm not even going to to discuss with you whether or not I think it's a good idea. I'm just going to do it the way they said so that the money keeps coming. The federal government says the signs are actually strongly encouraged, not mandatory. Governor David Patterson made it clear to me today it's not even up for discussion. From where you're standing, which way is Washington? Ask them. Because that is a federal requirement and we are in compliance with it. At least a few states see it differently. Texas, Florida, and Virginia have just flat out said no. They're not spending tax dollars to pat lawmakers on the back. Taxpayers here seem to think those three states have the right idea. I think it's ridiculous. I think they could, you know, print something about it in the newspaper and mention it on television and save all that money, put it to better use. I think people should know, but spending millions of dollars on signs seems a little extravagant and unnecessary. It's totally ridiculous. I think that they could save that million dollars and use it, put it towards the stimulus to rebuild stuff. I mean, look at the houses here in Syracuse that could be rebuilt or school, put in the school fund, but not on signs. The signs were supposed to be up both here and on 690 east of the city of Syracuse weeks ago, but they're actually on back order. When they do finally get placed, you won't be able to miss them. And in Grand Empire State fashion, New York is going to spend four to five thousand dollars for signs that other states are paying four to five hundred for. Now, contrary to what the governor says, Congressman Dan Maffei just told me that he thinks the cost of these signs seems excessive. He sent a letter to Albany asking for more specifics about why New York is paying so much more than other states for the very similar signs that will go up there. And, Carrie, he says he's still waiting for an answer from Albany. Well, it seems like the governor doesn't even really want to talk about it. He just wants to pay what it costs and then just move on. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly it. You saw his answers to me mm -hmm. today. The feds highly recommend these signs, they tell me, and there's no question about that. The governor is interpreting that as a mandate. Okay, but the real question here is how much New York is paying on these signs, and at four to $5,000 per sign, it's quite a bit more than any other state. All right, Jennifer Lukey, thank you. Well, the we should actually start seeing those signs sometime in the next few weeks as soon as the orders can be filled.